right, so this line right here is our boost line. 415 horsepower. <laughs> paddle coat guy, if you want paddle coat doing, this is our guy. Maybe two years ago, it spends all of its life on the track. I know it's done a few Sebring events. Well, it's here for a couple of things. One, it has a funky idle. Uh, two, it wants to change the battery. Right here, it's got a different battery we're gonna put in. It has an oil leak. The other thing is to take some weight out of it. We're gonna build a titanium exhaust. Are you holding it up or are you just holding it down? And keeping it from floating away. Let's fix these issues first, hence why we got the laptop out, trying to diagnose the issue. We'll double check all the trims, but that seems to have made the difference right there is not over rev and it would rev up to two grand or three grand all right so i didn't show the adjustment sequence i should have but anyway on the 06 and ups it's kind of like a retro fit that honda did to make these drive by wire this little box right here this cable goes directly to your throttle they connected this to the other end this has essentially a tps built into it right there and that will basically send a signal to the throttle body to control the throttle body now we did some titanium tips right here that clamp onto the exhaust because you wanted the titanium look, but of course now we're gonna go for the full titanium system. That bushing's falling off. Yeah, they're falling out on a couple of them. I'm thinking maybe missing some washer. The yeah. front one's falling all out too. Yeah, and there should be. It all over the exhaust. Yeah, there should be a full wash behind that. Nothing is coming out. Yeah. So we're gonna weigh this thing. Uh, we need to keep it somewhat quiet. It wants it to be a single. So I think off here, maybe we'll build a resonator here and make it obviously a single will come out. I don't know if we're gonna come out with a tip like that or maybe come out straight. This is the rear muffler we're gonna use. It's the largest one that Tycon offer, overall 17. We're gonna put this on an angle so we can make it fit. You get it to stabilize, looks like 33-ish. Yeah, 33.1. Yeah, 11.1. We do have room this way for, let me get down here. For the 17, we were gonna go on an angle. I'm gonna put a little drawing on the screen right there to shoot between the diff and under the axle. Problem is, angle downwards, it's gonna lose a lot of ground clearance. This end is gonna be down here to shoot over there. V-band coming off the back of the first resonator. We're in titanium right now. The whole thing is now hanging. Let's get a weight, 12 pounds, 13. But that is quite a bit of a change from our 44 pounds. So guys, if you like the video, if you like our content, do me a big favor, hit the subscribe button right there. Just click on that. It allows us to find more viewers, more people find us and do more content like this. Uh, one other thing we need to do is you said the brakes get soft after it gets really hot. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a master based on what the uh, problem is. So that will be here tomorrow. Exhaust is on, diff fluid is changed. Let's go ahead and get a sound clip from about here. Actually pretty mellow. We've got a box here right now just so it doesn't blow anything on my car so one thing we kept three inch coming out of here rather than acting like a megaphone like i've talked about so many times keeping this diameter down helps with the drone as well so gosh it sounds pretty good if we can get any more power out of it just verify this is a track car spends its whole life on the track but if we can extract a little bit more power, maybe the exhaust is good for a little bit. I did not get in and out of that seat very easy. Once I'm in it, I can fit. I'm not huge. I'm just tall and, you know, awkward shape for a little car. This distance here, it's like getting my leg here. That was a hard bit. And then trying to duck my head under this and get over that was not fun. So George just put it on the dyno. We're strapping down, plug it in. We always like to be extra cautious with the straps four straps at the back i know it's only going to make 400 horsepower but always good to have a redundancy setup uh, everything else is hooked up wide band is in we'll go from the one on the car 
and one on the dyno and take an average of the two so it's best to have two. That's what it made the last time it was here with a really, really nice graph. Really, really usable. So we're not going for absolute peak power. We're not trying to wring its neck to make every last pony because it is a track car. But we're gonna see if we can get a little bit more power, a little bit more mid-range. Might be able to drop our VTEC a little bit more to get a little bit over here. We usually leave it not too low. This is still the VTEC sensation. It's part of what makes the car feel like VTEC engages. Uh, the dyno will show it best options down here, but when you drive it, the butt dyno tells you that the VTEC is working and people will actually complain about that. So we do deliberately do this so you have that VTEC changeover. So all right, we hit record. Are you ready? All right, go. We lost uh, 31 horsepower. So it's all up top right here. Uh, just verified it, it's drop boost. Actually, let me show you. All right, so this line right here is our boost line. As you see, it peaked and then it dropped off. So we just uh, adjusted the belt. That's all it was. Uh, let's do a run. We should have our boost back now. I think we have had four visitors today that uh, want to come by, say hi, take pictures, buy us t-shirt. So thank you to you guys. I'm not complaining. Uh, I believe we must be getting internet famous or something because I've heard that word four times today. See what we're getting. We'll take a sound clip and then later too. Look how conservative I am by fuel. Again, it's been a race car. We don't want this thing to be lean at all. Let me just rescale this a little bit, see if I can show you a little bit closer. Uh, yeah, 11 ish. Yeah, look at that, 11 30, 11 3. And again, we're doing this because it gets hours and hours of uh, track time. up a little bit more but this is the VTEC area I just showed you right there you see it's super smooth now right here at about 11.6 I don't want to go any lean on that because again it's on 93 and it is on the track a lot it's just what it made today uh, I have the tax signal uh, on the first run and it wanted to break up but this is how much on the top end just from tightening the belt well, I'm gonna go stand behind the buildings so if I get too close it's gonna be just a racket can you hear it right now I'm outside the building Ready? This is all the time. This is the Brake Master. And again, we only do with Honda parts. That is the Honda number if you want to take that down. It's a pretty expensive part, but I like say these don't go bad very often. And this car just has a brake issue. The brakes get uh, soft once he has a couple of track sections. Don't really get that hot. It's got brake cooling on there. So we're going to go ahead and do this. It's the original Master on it. It gets a lot of abuse. We're gonna do this, flush it, and put some high temp fluid in at the same time. All right, Talon just came back with our master cylinder braces. Now these are satin black, look how pretty they are. They're designed to disappear because the strut tower bar would fit over this and we don't want this to outshine your strut tower bar. So that is designed to disappear. I gotta show you his car real quick, you ready? Oh, yeah. Look how unique this one is. Look at the splitter on that thing. And this you built yourself, didn't you? Yeah. If you put wings on this on a propeller, literally, this really looks like it could fly. There it is, look at that. V8 S2000. Look how good that looks in there. Very cool. What does it make? How much power? Uh, we make 550 to the tire. So. It's not bad at all, is it? No, a lot of fun. Yeah. And what size wheel and tire are you running? Uh, right now we're 17 by 9 all the way around. How well do those tires do? Uh, they go pretty well. Do they really? Yeah, first gear is a little useless, but... Well, everything is. Is it passenger seat though? Yeah, no, I don't do good in the passenger seat. <laughs> if it's 550 on that side, 
It's 700 at this side. <laughs> it's always worse on the passenger side. You gotta get a sound clip if you're leaving. I'm gonna put all your info on the screen, but obviously this is our paddle coat guy. If you want paddle coat doing, this is our guy. This is the guy we use. This is the guy you gotta use. All right, let's let it rip. Don't right. do anything silly, oh, no. but I do wanna hear it. I don't like to encourage people to do burnouts because they do it. wanted to share this with you this was a v8 s2000 we did several years ago it was basically a stock v8 right here 415 horsepower and 400 foot pounds of torque i figured it'd be good to kind of overlay because it it's pretty much the same car with about the same horsepower this is based on speed so we're taking it to the same speed you see how much different the v8 is the blue line right here is the torque the one on the top this one is horsepower as you see as soon as you crank the gas, it just makes power. The one that Talon has is heads, cam, headers, a few other things. It makes 550 to the wheel, so quite a bit more, but it's just interesting to show this because so many people go, well, I don't like the idea of that. Who didn't like the idea of 350 foot-pounds? I'm saying one is better than the other. It's different. It's like a turbo versus a supercharger on the S2000. The turbos make so much more power down low, but they feel like they kind of peak out around 7, 7,500 RPMs, where the supercharger just feels like it pulls to the moon, which is that very S2000 feel. So it's not better, it's just different. So the stroke bar friendly, master cylinder braces are back in stock. These are powder coated satin black. They're designed to fit under your stroke bar, uh, high carbon steel, and it's satin black because we want it to disappear. This is the pretty one. This is 100% CNC billet and then anodized, made in the USA. All our parts we make in the USA. This is the new hardware. Uh, this is just on the latest batch right here. Again, high quality stuff. We test these. We have a few hundred cars out there and we have a handful of track guys that we stay in touch with. And when those cars come back, we check them. We put them back in our fixtures to make sure there's no tweaking, no bending so many copycats on the market now which i guess i shouldn't be upset because when there is a good product and if it works people like to copy it this is the original this is the best this has been tested they're in the store now lhtperformance.com this is the fluid we're using right here some wheelwood 600 plus uh we looked into it it's good for 690 626 uh, degrees celsius or fahrenheit or whichever calculation you use I'm trying to say this while I read it, but I think it was, uh, I think it's Fahrenheit. Uh, we went around the whole system several times just to make sure it's got a really hard pedal, make sure there is no f uh, air bubbles in there and the fluid is flushed all the way through because we flushed the old stuff out. Don't know what was in there. It's always good to flush as much of it out as possible. So this one is good to go. We'll report back. Uh, this is custom, by the way. It looks like a brush, but it's actually a hood prop and it's one of the safer ones that we found so the hood doesn't fall on us but this one is good we got everything on his list taken care of most of it was fairly easy the exhaust is saved him a ton of weight he's picked up some power a little bit more reliability and hopefully we fixed his brake issue so there we go this one's going to hit the track we'll see if we can get some video of it on the track if we do we'll put it in the video but until the next time thanks for watching don't forget hit the subscribe hit the share hit the like and we'll see you on the next video more importantly enjoy your cars